Ladies and gentlemen, on today's show, we are going to be fishing the Ruby River in Montana. We're hopefully going to catch some nice brown trout. So stick around. Should be a great show. There, oh boy, that's a big Whoa. fish. Big fish. Welcome to Fishing with Latin with Latin Langman and co-host Steve Ronholt. You can buy that expensive tackle that you think that you might need. You can head out for the river and hope you might succeed. But if you want to fish just right, just turn your TV on. Come on, fish with Latin, he'll get your fishing on. Yeah, come on, fish with Latin, and you'll have some fun. Catch some fly in Alaska. On the wild Yukon, or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. We were fishing the tailwater below the Ruby River Dam. It was early July. The sun was out, and as we'd soon find out, the fish were eager to bite. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. All right. That's a good fish. If I can hold them in here. Yeah, that's a nice brown. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, it's a nice brown. Oh, beautiful. We took the pheasant tail, the bottom one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get it over this calmer water here. Oh! Nice, nice work. Nice. Nice work. Very nice brown. Wow. Nice Ruby River Brown. Oh yeah. Good. There he goes. 16, 17 inch yeah. brown. Very nice. <laughs> All right, that was so cool. I just hit this little riffle right here. My indicator went down and boom, it was a gorgeous fish. Very nice. Oh yeah. All it's right. a good way to start the day. Yes huh? it is, no doubt about <laughs> that. This is the little nymph I caught it on. It's a nymph for the PMD and uh, very effective fly so far. Yeah, oh, it's a beauty. Oh, it's good heavens. Did you see the size of that? I, it was a big fish. That was, that was, that was, a, that thing was big. That was a 20 inch fish. Oh my gosh. Did I lose the fly? Oh. No, it's still there. Darn it! That was a 20 inch brown. Oh, it, looked heavy. it was a heavy, beautiful fish. Sweet. Right where I thought it was going to be, yeah, too. Right oh, head. good heavens. That was a bummer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Ruby Reservoir, and this feeds the Ruby River that we're fishing downstream. In 1994, this reservoir was completely drained killing off every single fish up above and also devastating the fishery down below. But now the Ruby River is back to its former glory. Steve cast toward a current seam along the far shore. I tried to get the fly right in that seam and uh, sure enough got it in there, that fish hit and boy it was a good fighting brown. There it is. <laughs> they are very nice fish. There he is. Oh, it's big, yes. Steve. Try and work him down here a little bit. Steve headed down the bank. Oh yeah, nice fat fish. Steve worked the brown toward the net. Boy, he doesn't like coming in. 
Oh, nice. The flies we've been using today are a stonefly nymph and a pheasant tail nymph, and both of them have caught fish. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Nice, nice brown trout. Steve carefully revived the brown trout. Oh. <gasps> Very nice. That was sweet. That yeah. was sweet. They are just, they're active, they're big. Taking both of our, draw, our nymph rigs, you know, I mean, this is awesome. And this is quite a surprise. Too. Yeah, we it is. We planning on fishing this river. But no, just... I think with the high water for the last two years, it's really helped this river system. And yeah. man, it is, it is looking good. Awesome. Yeah, that's three big fish and three hookups, you know, and one, one we didn't get, but Absolutely. man, nice brown trout. Wow. Good job. Thanks. Been really surprised, pleasantly surprised at the size of fish we're catching here in the Ruby River. It's been great. Yeah. Good heavens, that was another big brown. What am I, am I doing something wrong? You're losing fish. Oh. Yeah. Dang it, that was big. Big fish. Folks, I've lost two really big brown trout on this trip so far, and I'm not very happy about the deal. This looks like prime water here. There's a nice riffle going down into what looks like could be an undercut bank and some good hiding areas for big browns. So we'll see what we can do. My only question is, do I start? I'm thinking I should start on this side and work my way across. Sure. The like biggest to. fish might be right over there, but um, just yeah. so we don't spook them all yeah. right away. Start on this side. Steve moved toward the lower part of the deep hole. Holy smokes. And it feels like a pretty big fish. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, oh my goodness. That's going to be huge. Wow. This could be a tough one. You can do it, Steve. You can do it. Maybe he's not that big. I hope he's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. He's, good he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Yeah. You called that. But I wasn't paying attention. I know you weren't. I, <laughs> I was looking for the next cast. <laughs> I go, what? You got a fish. <laughs> I thought I was done on that cast. Oh boy, look at that. Maybe, I don't wonder if that's a white fish. Don't even say that word, Steve. Oh, it's a big white fish. White fish. <laughs> <laughs> Holy guacamole, that's a fat fish. Fun fight. It was. That was a yeah, good fish, man. Jeez. Good fish. Yeah, that'd be a trophy if it was a brown or a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Folks, we got a big time Montana storm here. Got some thunderheads out this way. You can see all the cottonwood just totally blowing off the trees right now. And uh, I don't know, Steve wants to leave, but I've missed on a couple big browns now, so <laughs> sticking it out. Nice knowing you folks. See? <laughs> Crazy. The skies grew even darker, and Steve was threatening to leave without me. Okay, folks, we got back here to the truck about two minutes before this stuff started hitting. Very fortunate, we left the dead, but I think we're going to call out and say bye to Ruby River <laughs> and its hailstorm. This is something else. A month later, we were back in the lower Ruby River. We were fishing a grassy field and hopper season was in full swing. Okay folks, when you're fishing with Ladin, you never know what's gonna happen. It's pretty awesome to watch here. Uh, he's hunting for grasshoppers. And uh, I don't think anybody does it like that. Now why do we wanna have a grasshopper? We fish with flies, not bait. 
Well, see if you catch a grasshopper, you can look yeah. at the color of its underbody. Yeah, they're cream colored. Sweet. And, uh, yeah, just like I suspected. Yeah. So let's Good go job. try it. Thanks. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Well, we've been fortunate enough today to catch quite a few fish and, you know, as tempting as it is just to keep throwing the same rig out there, the same rig, the same rig, it's a good idea to check for impurities in the leader and I just found this small square knot here and that can be a, a real game changer. If anything breaks here, that's going to be the, the point of, of breakage. So what I'm going to do is just, takes just a minute, I'm going to retie this rig, make sure that all the knots are back in business and keep on going. All right, we're uh, fishing on some private land here. We uh, talked to the landowner and he graciously let us uh, fish here and uh, even showed us a little bit of how to do it. So uh, he said this is a really good feeding lane. I saw one fish rise here, so I'm gonna see if I can get him come up with a hopper. See what we can do. I put a cast right at the point, uh, twitched it, missed a fish, Got it right back in there, twitched it again, and hit the big fish. Got him? Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a pretty decent fish, yes. Right. I would have to agree. Don't really like him being there, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not sure where the best place to go is here. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Where to get him in. This fish was big enough that it pulled me downstream a ways. It's a weighty fish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we've got 5x tip in them. Yeah, I think on this corner I might be able to get him. And I landed it in a little side eddy. Fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a fatty. Woo! Fat. Yes. Beauty on the dry. Yes, on the hopper. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, this is a really nice brown. It sure is. Probably, what, 16 or so? Oh, beautiful, yeah. Just nice and fat. Right, right where we saw him yeah. rising up that point. Yeah, definitely. And I'm not sure if this is the one that missed the first time. It might be, mm -hmm. but uh, he came back. Wow. Yep. Oops. Sent him on his way. Oh, my net's going way. on its way. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him a little refreshment there. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Wow, very nice. That was fun. That was really, really fun. On a stream like this, you want to be extremely stealthy. So what I do is I creep up on the fish and try to keep my profile low so I can catch those wily trout. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good fish. Nice. Woo dogs, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it's heavy, it's pretty good. I knew that spot was just too good. Oh! <laughs> oh that was a good jump. Good jump, good jump. Yeah. Wow, the wind is just picking up and howling. If you look at those reeds, they're just blowing like crazy. This could be good for hopper fishing. Yep. But meanwhile, I got to have some work to do. Oh yeah, nice brown. Very nice. That is so fun. I'm telling you, dry fly fishing is the most fun fishing you can do, folks. There he goes. Wow, that was fun. 
That was fun. Active fish there. Yes, it was. It was cool. Cool. Well, folks, the landowner, John, uh, was very gracious to come out and give us some tips here. Uh, showed us kind of what hopper pattern to use and, and the streamer pattern and how to fish the streamer. and It's really helped out. And you're fishing it perfectly. Okay. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah! Oh! Right. Ah! Good fish. I did not see him until he actually hit it. Yeah, well, I saw him when he was hooked for a second. Yeah, yeah. that was a nice fish. Yeah, yeah. that was an eight, plenty in here. Eighteen inch yeah, fish, probably. Wow, there's plenty in here. Well, you're fishing it perfectly. Okay, you're gonna do great though. Thank you. That's I awesome. Know. Oh yeah, oh it's a good fish. Wow. Yeah, I caught this on a. Spark a woolly bugger, put on the streamer, and uh, wow, it's a good fish. Right, yeah, it's, yeah a good it's a good fish. Good fish. Holy smokes. <laughs> nice brown, really nice brown. Yeah, wow. There we go, good brownie. Yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Boy. What was it on? It was, yeah, I was a uh, gr uh, green, kind of sparkly woolly bugger type oh, deal. Ah, sweet. Nice. Yeah. Nice. There he goes. Where she goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was cool. See that log over there, Steve? You know, I just cast out here and just let it drift from that log and stripped it in and and boom, it hit. Nice. There it is. Oh yeah. Woo. Jeez. That is one hot brown. Yeah. And that is on the turd. The turd. Oh, sorry folks. The <laughs> What else do you call it? <laughs> brown fly. Brown fly. Oh yeah, spunky, spunky guy. Tell you what, he really went after yes, that fly. That was cool. Yes. Okay. Didn't yep. take long. So no. Nymphs. Yeah. Yep. A little surprised that they went for the stone fly, but I don't know. That uh, Pete Erickson, he told us these things work just about anywhere, so. Yep, Peter Erickson's a guide. Yep, guide that uh, took us out on the South Fork there. And uh, boy, wow. sure enough, he hit that. He hit it hard, too. I mean, there was no messing around. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Yep. Oh, yeah, another yeah. one. Yes. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. It's working. Cool. Yeah. You want to try that? I'm thinking I do. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Stripping it right off that bank. Yeah, after. it's interesting. The first, the first strip I did about two feet, let it pause, and then I started stripping fast. Both the last two times, and they hit it when I started doing fast wow. strips. This is a little, little better fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Okay. Steve brought the fish toward the net. Very nice, nice brownie. Nice yeah, brownie. Yeah, very 12, nice. 13. Very nice. There it goes. Yeah. Boy, they, it's fun when they take it with the streamer. They hit it pretty hard, you know. I mean, I know they miss. I've, ha I've missed a couple, but uh, when they do take that fly, they're they're charging at it. So yeah, cool. Sun coming down over the mountain. Beautiful. When Steve was done enjoying the beautiful Montana sunset, he informed me it was time to go. Latin, it's time to go. Jeez, we don't need any more grasshoppers. <laughs> Did you hit your head? I almost knocked myself out. <laughs> <gasps> On a stick or something? <laughs> Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin. Because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>